Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, so this is a gigantic mega news update. I kind of covered my theories on it yesterday, but now it has all come out. Uh, Vietnam's pretty much dropped all requirements to come into the country. You do not need the insurance. No one has ever been asked for it. Uh, the 100 people or plus that have gone, come through to Vietnam since March 15th. So you don't need the insurance thing, even though they kind of still say you do. You really don't, no one's checking that. I think one guy out of 100 was checked at his departing place in New Zealand. So you don't have to worry about that, don't buy that. Also, like I've been talking about for weeks and weeks, they've been talking about dropping the testing. And guess what? As of Sunday, you no longer are required to have a test to enter Vietnam. I want to get it all out here. I want to make this a concise information video. Vietnam is moving past worrying about COVID and becoming the country it once was before COVID. So you don't need a test, you don't need insurance, you don't need a health declaration. You pretty much don't need anything. The only thing you would need is if your country requires a test when you're departing to go back home. And as of now, I do believe America does. I suspect they'll drop that soon. I don't know why America was so quick to like get rid of other things, but <laughs> surprisingly very slow to drop that, which is odd. Who cares? It's a common cold. Let's move past it. This is all incredibly good news, by the way. This is what we wanted to see. Uh, couldn't be more happy for Vietnam. Couldn't be more happy for you guys that you have no troubles of, of coming over. You don't have to worry about taking a test, paying for a test. Uh, they're, they're poising themselves to be one of the leaders in Southeast Asia for travel again. Small little tidbit outside of this. If you do like the channel, I appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, also, if you do feel like joining the Patreon, join the Patreon. You get early access to videos. So if you want some early access to some videos, join Patreon. You also get additional content there, like spicy, spicy things that I wouldn't normally put on the channel, etc., etc. So yeah, we're really poised in a really good place. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, of course, subscribe to the channel. That's up to you. We're really in a good place as far as Vietnam is poised for moving forward with really opening up, you know. Getting rid of the testing was a major thing. They needed to do that a, a while ago. Uh, they should have almost never came out of the gate with it, as it does nothing, you know. Omicron is more like the common flu than anything. So the next thing I want to talk about is the visa situation. So the visa situation is still 30-day e-visa. They are starting to write articles, just as they did with the testing and scrapping the testing in the news. Let's say bring back the longer visa. So I do think that we shall see a return to the old visa style pretty quickly. I would give it a couple weeks to a month, and I think we'll see all the pre-COVID visas come back and not just a 30-day e-visa, which is what we want to see, to be honest with you. I, I want Vietnam to do their best, so I just want to see them go back to completely, you know, pre-COVID rules and just completely ditch all this nonsense about the COVID. I mean, finally, we're moving forward with this stuff. Time to get the country open all together, time for people to come in, no worry about testing. The next thing I want to talk about, which we talked about in the last video, the, the no mask, or the mask and the uh, them getting rid, proposal to get rid of the testing. I put that video up because I had it ready to go, so then I edited the title that they did drop the testing because it came out like an hour after I had already edited and uploaded that video. So mask, do you see me have a mask on right now? Do you see anyone coming and telling me to put a mask on? So stop 
crying about it. They're not gonna make you wear a mask. Do you see these guys with a mask on? None of these people have masks on. Nobody has a mask on. Very few people wear them, but they wear them in instances where they want to wear them. You know, maybe in uh, an elevator or a taxi or if you're by a lot of people. Same with these guys, no mask on. So, it's not a big deal. People going on on the internet and crying on VN Express. I'm not coming till they don't make me put my face muzzle on. One, it's not a face muzzle. Wearing a mask is pretty easy. Doctors and surgeons and nurses wear them all the time. I don't think they're dying. So, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. You know, I don't know what the law is. I think it's still mandatory, but like, it's up to your discretion when you're here, guys. Like, it's not a you have to do it type deal, you know? It's, it's literally at the user's discretion. Like I said, the only place that's asked me to put a mask on in like, I don't know, three or four or five months is Hanoi. Like, a lot of the people that have come here on the, the uh, Discord and through comments say they've never worn a mask one time since they've been here. So like worrying about the mask is a stupid reason not to come to Vietnam. I'll tell you that firsthand. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You're not gonna have to mask up everywhere you go. On the flight, you're still gonna, which I think most flights worldwide are pretty much still requiring a mask. But I even took my mask off from my Hanoi flight. No one said a word to me. I took my mask off in the airport. No one said a word to me. It's not as big as a deal as like the people on VN Express are making. You know, shit happens. But wearing a mask isn't the, the end of the world or the last thing. And besides, you're in someone else's country. Like, don't bring America here. You, you know, this isn't America. This is Vietnam. They're totally different, as you can tell. So, to keep it short and sweet, They've dropped all mandates to come into the country. All you need is an e-visa now. There's no health declaration, there's no PC COVID app, there's nothing. You literally just get a test. Or not even a test, I'm so used to saying you just get a test. You literally just get the e-visa, that's it. Nothing else. We gotta cross the road here. Let's see if we can make it happen. Not that big a deal. They designed this pretty stupid for uh, for walkers. They really gave you no option to really get across here, as you can kind of see. Like, there's no crosswalk over here. They kind of, I think what they did is they, they rushed the finishing of this and kind of left out like walkers. Because they don't really calculate a whole lot for walkers in Vietnam. Most people take their motorbike everywhere. A motorbike is like the most important thing in Vietnam to a Vietnamese. You know, a Vietnamese would rather take a motorbike than pay $4 for a taxi any day of any year. It's just a way of life. So in all, this is just really good news. We get to move forward with our lives here. You guys get to come over. You don't have to do anything. The restrictions are pretty much lifted on everything. The place is fully open. As you've seen, I've been all over the country in the past, I don't know, 90 days. My friends that went to Nha Trang absolutely had, Nha Trang had an absolutely wonderful time. You know, it doesn't need to have everything open to be awesome. But plan your trip, come. Don't worry about rules that aren't really being enforced. And now you've got no reason not to come. All the tests and all the stuff is dropped, so. I thought I would update you with this final video on the news. I don't think we'll see another news video until we see a visa change. And then hopefully I never have to do a news video again because I don't want to. I'd rather just shoot fun shit and do live streams. So as ever, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for those who do appreciate the channel, for those that have subscribed, for those that don't listen to the haters. You guys are all legends. Thank you so much. See you on the next one. Stay frosty. Peace out.